Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Gary Zepatichny. I'm a member of the Clovis, New Mexico Astronomy Club. And I wanted to provide a little bit of more insight to our remaining of our events for this year. Now, here's a quick look at our events. And um, you can find this on our Facebook page in the, uh, the featured um, uh, section of uh, of the page. In fact, it should be one of the first things that you see when you look at it with your phone. But I just wanted to point out that aside from all the dates of our events, we, we show where it's going to be held at. And basically at the time frame um, that these times are not set in stone. In fact, I want to reiterate uh, because of the heat uh, show up at 9 o'clock, show up at 9 p.m., bring a lawn chair, bring water, bring mosquito spray. Um, you've got uh, binoculars, feel free to bring those out. If you are very comfortable uh, with, if you have a telescope and you want to set that up and you're very comfortable setting it up around other people, uh, feel free to bring it. But please realize we may not be able to provide a lot of assistance uh, should you need it, okay? Um, so moving right along to the August 5th, which uh, this is August 1st, uh, the day that I'm making this video, and we're going to be setting up at Oasis State Park, and um, also uh, just wanted to point out that August 12th, uh, going into the morning of the 13th, will be the peak time frame to see the Perseids meteor shower. All right. Usually about two, going, getting up uh, at a dark place uh, to see the meteors. You're not going to see too many in, in in town if you have a lot of light from in town. Uh, Net Hook Park is a good place to go uh, for that. Um, August 27th, uh, Saturn will be at opposition, uh, meaning um, Earth's right going to be right in the middle of, between Saturn and the Sun. And so you're going to see uh, the full, uh, the best possible view of uh, Saturn. And if, whether you're looking at it through a telescope or imaging, it's, it's the best time. Now, the days leading up to the 27th and the days immediately following it are still really good times to view uh, Saturn for this year. Um, so on August 5th, after 10 p.m., Saturn will be a viewable, viewable uh, for observing. In, in other words, it's going to be above the horizon. Now, Jupiter won't be available or above the horizon until uh, just after 11. Now, uh, not just viewable on August 5th, but viewable through the remainder of the season. We'll be able to see uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, um, the double cluster, which is an open star cluster. Uh, it's actually two of them in the eyepiece. Um, the, uh, the dumbbell and the ring nebulas, um, the eagle nebula, uh, Ptolemy's cluster, which is a open star cluster, Alberia, which is a beautiful double star, um, the globular clusters, uh, M92 and M13, and the wild duck cluster, which is M11, and, and a lot more that we'll be able to show you um, from August 5th on, on through the remainder of the season. At uh, August 18th, uh, we'll be at Net Hook Park, um, and Saturn will be already viewable for observing. Uh, Jupiter, however, won't be available till just after 11. Um, again, the same Objects in the night sky will be viewable, and we'll be adding to these, but these are the big heavy hitters that we'd like to show people. September 9th, Saturn will be viewable for observing, and Jupiter won't be available till just after 10. Again, the same objects plus, plus a few more. Now on September 15th at Ned Hook Park, um, Saturn will be viewable for observing, and just before 10, Jupiter uh, will surface. 
Now, on September 23rd, uh, we'll be setting up at the Cannon Air Force Base uh, Library or between the library and the th uh, thrift shop in the parking lot there. Uh, because we're going to have a lot of lighting, uh, mainly from the, 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 the BX, uh, viewing will be limited, um, but um, uh, we'll be able to see the moon and um, Saturn. Um, and just know that we've been trying to set up at the library for a number of years, but have been held back to, to the uh, weather. Okay, October 7th. This will be at Oasis State Park, and this will be our last park event for the season, but we're not done with it yet. Um, Saturn and Jupiter will both will be viewable before 9. And again, we're going to have um, the, the big heavy hitters that we've talked about plus, plus more. Now, on October 14th at the Clovis Carver Public Library, um, this will be a daytime event. Um, the eclipse starts at 9.15. We'll be set up before then. And what we're hoping to do is uh, have our video sent uh, through to the library's uh, projection system so folks can go in, sit down, and enjoy uh, the eclipse. Um, on October 21st, first, also at the Clovis Carver Public Library, this is the NASA-sponsored International Observe the Moon Night. All right. Uh, while the main focus, of course, will be the moon, uh, Saturn and Jupiter will also be visible, and we'll have our telescope set up uh, in the parking lot of the library. And this is a very um, successful event that we hold each year. Um, and we've been holding this event ever since, uh, I want to say about 2016, 2017, when NASA first started having these events. And this will be our last um, public event for uh, 2023. All right. So, uh, folks, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the presentation and I uh, hope this helps. But if you have any questions um, or comments, please feel free to um, uh, let us know uh, what you think about our events. If you uh, want us to uh, set up for um, a school or a church, uh, we will be happy to, to do so. We just got to work that in and see what's, see what's available. Well, thank you very much, folks. I appreciate your time and hope to see you out there under the stars. Bye-bye now.